So we're just stripping this foundation now. We went ahead and pulled the plastic off the top of the forms there that we had to um, protect the finish while it rained. That off, our next step, we're gonna go ahead and pull all the bracing from basically all the, all the wood that's on the formwork here. We're gonna go, in, go ahead and pry that stuff all off, denail it, stack that stuff, and then we'll move on to stripping the, uh, the whalers and the forms. Okay, so we've got all of our bracing pulled off on the inside of the foundation here, and we're just starting to uh, pull ties and, and forms here. So we're using strippies, and the way these work is that the ties stick right through, they stick out of the form here. That's what these metal whalers are going through. Stripping them, I mean, that's where the name comes, strippy, is, is you just go along and you just hit on that whaler. And those ties just break right off. And I'll just go along and hit next to all the ties on the whaler, break them all off, and then we can pull that form off. The concrete in the wall comes up to about right here. So this top row of ties, it's not even poured into the concrete. And what that's for is so that the top of the forms don't, don't tend to lean out. If the main part of the tie isn't supported, you can't really break those off. So hopefully what I can do is just pull that right out. Now you, you can't do that on these lower ones just because once that concrete is poured in there and pushes out, it's too tight for those whalers. Basically, that, that's kind of what you want to do. If there's concrete poured onto the ties, you can break them off. If there's no concrete poured onto the inside of the tie, then you're best off to pull them out and get that whaler out. And then just kind of pull it to the side and it'll come right out of that little groove that's made in the concrete. So that's how we'll do that. And we'll go around, we'll do the whole rest of this, uh, this foundation inside and out, same process.